What is that? Bunch of lights. Looks like some sort of a... Hexagon thing. Log 16, Ethics of Brain Science. And Dr. Chalmers. The brain specimens are donated by terminal patients and kept alive in a nutrient-rich gel. We offer them life. They allow us to learn from them. Dr. Dennett. Dr. Chalmers is quite aware of the existing ban on testing the swapper device between crew members and is seeking to circumvent it by testing on people who cannot complain. The doctor is practicing consensual slavery. Wait, consensual slavery? Isn't that an oxymoron? If, it, if it's consensual, then how can it be slavery? Uh, anyway, Dr. Chalmers, I am practicing the prolonging of life for a good cause. You'd make the same choice in their situation. Dr. Dennett, you don't know enough about the device to make any any such claim. None of your theories account for the empirical evidence. Some of them break the law of conservation of energy. Dr. Chalmers, yet with no amount of physical explanation can you communicate to me what it is like to see red, to feel pain, to be afraid of death. Why, if all we are is nuts and bolts, we may as well consider the computer alive? Your account is missing the magic. And when the cards are down, mine is simply easier to believe. Are we safe? Has the other mind changed again? Console. Memory terminal. Where am I going? Whoops. Did not want to go down there. Okay, never mind. That's the only way to go. Whoa. Extrapolating from your behavior thus far, I can only conclude that you're hopelessly deranged. Very well. Head towards control. I'll see if I can't come up with some common ground. Okay, let's see. Are we going home? See, what did we do to these things? Did we just rip them out of their place and just, like, wreck? I mean, they obviously have some sort of a connection, right? They've talked about the chain. So they have some sort of a neural network or something? Or electrical impulse network? However they communicate. And we've just been ripping them from the planet. We've been tearing apart... Okay, if they're like one giant chain, right? If they form one brain or something like that? Then we've basically just been ripping out chunks of its brain. It wouldn't surprise me if it's angry or afraid or simply confused. Who knows what the hell it's going to do. But we've, but we've obviously been hurting them or it, whatever you want to call it. Okay, where am I now? Holy crap, where is this going? Well, I had hope to reason with you, but trusting others to see senses how we ended up like this. No, I won't ask you to examine the evidence and pick a side, only that you act in your own self-interest. I am going to land this station on the planet below. Unless you detach the solar panels first, Theseus will be destroyed. Okay, well I don't intend to die, so I guess I can do that much. She's gonna land it on the planet, why? Maybe she's gonna return everything? Return everything we took? Does it understand yet? I do not believe so. Well, that's great. Solar panel maintenance modules. Now, you're looking for three solar maintenance modules. There should be one for each of the major control installations. I'm headed back to command. Have the panels detached by the time I get there. Fine, fine.
Log 17, Control Crew Bulletin, Watcher Sample Number 1. Important operational information. Watcher Sample Number 1 was recently, recently relocated to the Mine Science Laboratory. Access via the command deck is strictly limited to senior personnel. Control facilities and crew should be unaffected by the specimen's proximity. However, we understand concerns, concerns have been raised and seek to address these now. Sample 1 is colloquially, colloquially referred to as the Head Watcher in virtue of, of its unique physical appearance, and at present, the research team has no robust robust explanation for it. Current theories are focused on the possibility of an extinct humanoid species native to Cori 5, which may have carved the features onto the rock tens of thousands of years ago. While it is true that tests so far have indicated that sample number one plays a different role in watcher hierarchy compared to the smaller specimens, claims that it possesses a greater intelligence or otherwise poses a threat remain unsubstantiated. Well, I could reverse gravity, or I could just keep doing this. Asteroid excavation. Or I could go to what? What's up here? Holy crap. Whatever this is, it's big. I'm going to go back. Is this a long-range teleporter? Ah, it is. Okay. There's another hatch. Thirty-five more encryption orbs. Holy crap. To access solar panel controls. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be going back, at some point. I'm still gonna go forwards as much as I can, of course. But yeah, for now I'm going back. I mean, for now I'm I'm going forwards. I'm going back to go forwards, if that makes any sense. I'm going back to this point so I can go forwards here. Uh oh uh, this isn't good. Not good. There we go. Whew. Wait, does that say no entry? But there's an entry right there. It's a it's a hatch. Okay. Seventeen more encryption orbs. There we go. Is this another long range teleporter? Yes, it is. All right, what's at the top? Uh oh. From their home, we pushed them, they fought back. Return them to the planet, end the fight. Oh, hell, you don't know the first thing about that device she's brandishing so nonchalantly. Why am I even bothering? You don't know the first thing she's brandishing so nonchalantly. Who, who's she? Who are you talking about? What device? I don't know, but yes, returning them to where they came from sounds like a good idea. That's exactly what I had in mind, actually. Okay, need to kill a couple. There we go. Alright, where am I now? Yet another satellite access. 
The head hears me and I hear it. We sing together, all of us, to remind us of the great chain of before. Alright, let's figure out what this goes. What the hell is this? It doesn't even look like it's attached to the station. to be you is just a byproduct of a very powerful computer. I say that if you explain a magic trick by reference to magic, you've not explained a damn thing. I don't even know how to pronounce that. En Enagon? En Enneagon? I'm gonna call it an Enagon. It's so close! Just jump a little higher, man, come on. Hmm. Alright, let's see, what am I... Oh! Ow. Alright, how's this gonna work? So I can do this. And now I'm gonna die. Nope, that doesn't work. What about if I do that? Hey, he's just gonna go back. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. But... Okay, what if I do that? That's probably better. Wait, is this that simple? That's it? Really? Holy crap. That's a lot. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, we're done. Next. This is really disorienting. What have we got here? Hmm. Come on, come on, oh god, I can almost reach it. Just lift your hand up. Yeah, uh, 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 I can't reach it. Hmm. Well, I got like 90% of the way there. Now what do I do? It's not going to do anything. How the hell?
Okay, so I need two in there, don't I? I think I do. Which means I need to do what? I need to do this? There we go. Have you seen anyone else on board the station? No, no, I I'm not sure either. Immaterial. You should be in a position to detach the first panel now. I shouldn't need to hurry you. I'm sure you're as eager to see your rescue team as I am. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it done. Hold on. Damn it, I can't reach it. Um... There we go. Log 18. Swapper research interests. Team A report. Centuries ago, the greatest minds in the world believed in life essence, some invisible magical substance that explained what was alive and what was dead. As we know, they never found it. They decided in the end that life was just functions like growth, and reproduction, and respiration. People think the retro-engineered swapper device swaps souls about. I worry that if the soul, like life essence, turns out to be nothing but pixie dust, then the device is capable of acts far less benign than Chalmers would have them believe. Far less benign than Chalmers would have them believe. If the soul turns out to be nothing but pixie dust, in other, in other words, if there is no such thing as a soul, then the device is capable of things far worse than Chalmers believes? Or would have us believe? Like what? All right, let's see. So, I could do... Nope, that's not going to work. Whoops. <laughs> that didn't go so well. So that kills me, huh? Okay. What if you... What if you do this? That kills you and reverses gravity for you. Okay. So let's put one there. Hmm. I have no idea. This seems so simple, but I just don't know. I can't swap, and I can't disable the red light. <laughs> Which means what? What does that mean? Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, this is really easy. I've already got it. Here we go. Just write it. Oh. Oh, shit. Whoops. Oh, fuck. Now it's all fucked up. Okay, let me do that again. I accidentally moved. So do that. Uh, wait a minute. No, hold on. Do that. Oh shit, it got just got destroyed.
Okay, there we go. I'm gonna wait for it to open all the way this time. Okay. When the hope is close and separating the two hemispheres of the brain is severed, the result is a seemingly normal yet partially divided consciousness. The eyes sometimes see what the mouth can't name. I tell you this macabre detail to suggest that the mind is not a single transferable entity. It is a complex physical machine that bides tampering poorly. Indeed it is. In other words, the fact that I'm cloning myself over and over again might mean that I'm constantly reproducing a... slightly imperfect version that is degrading in quality. Sort of like... Sort of like if you saved a compressed JPEG and you kept opening the new compressed JPEG and saving it as another compressed JPEG again and again and again, and the quality just keeps getting worse. There's actually a name for that. I don't remember what it is. We keep recompressing something into oblivion. Hmm. Well, great. My mind is going to be mush after this. Alright, so what can I do? What can I not do? 48. Got that. 66. Cannot do that. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's try this again without dying. I could go back down to do that, but I kind of want to just do everything else first. Yeah, let's do that. Cargo command. I think I just saw one of my clones go flying up. Whoa, what the... The hell was that? What is that light up there? Hmm. I don't know, but I will be right back. Let's continue. Cargo command. Holy crap, this requires 93. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go back and do the ones that I couldn't do before. M maybe. It does actually look like doing these obstacles actually will get you access to more stuff. So, let's go do that. But first, I want to see what's up here. Oh. Wait a minute, have I not gone here before? No, I've been here, haven't I? It's this mysterious rock sample, though, like I haven't. Something has changed. Something has changed, you have a new trajectory. Will we rejoin the Great Chain? No, I actually have not read that one before. Wait, have I not been here? No, no, I have been here. Did I accidentally avoid the rock or something? Hmm. Alright, let's get this 48 one. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch.
Goodbye, solar panel. The one called the Swapper, it manipulates minds by some method that is not persuasion or argument. Is it a weapon? I don't think so. I guess it could be used as a weapon somehow. But I'm not using it as a weapon. It's likely the watchers aren't even aware they killed the crew. Just as you were unaware when your immune system killed the virus. Once our fate was clear, Chalmers and I took steps to protect ourselves. No, the only way to survive is to land the station, to return them home. Wait a minute, Chalmers and I took precautions? Wait a minute, I thought you were Chalmers. If you're not Chalmers, then who the hell are you? So we got another one of these. My god, it's so red. Alright, what does getting up here get me? Is there anything up here? Ah. Ah. I see. Okay. I think I get it. And then I need to get over there. Hold on. Do that. Do that. Shit. I did not mean to fall. Damn it. It's okay. I had it. Just gotta do it again. Okay, go up. Go here. Do that. Go down. Okay, there we go. Alright, does that allow me to get the next one? Yes, it does. Sweet. Well, I might as well continue to do these. Log number 19, Emergency Evac 3. In under 32 hours, more than three quarters of us have succumbed. 124 crew members and less than 30 remain. We're holed up in this derelict module, headed for command once we're rested. People say it's the most protected part of the station, but then people are scared. They're saying they can hear the Watcher's thoughts. That's when you do, you get sick. I'm trying not to listen to them. 124 crew members, less than 30 remain, within 32 hours. They've succumbed to something. Some sort of mind attack, I'm guessing? Since everything seems to have to do with the mind and consciousness and thought? I can just get a shot off from the top of this box. Hmm. 
All right, how <clears throat> how am I going to do this? Okay, well I can do this. It actually worked. Wow. It's not been easy working with that woman, you know. Everything is as simple as it looks with her. It's called the swapper device because it swaps souls apart. A very tale if ever I heard one. What if there's no soul to swap? Well, I mean, of course there's not really a soul, but there's a thing that just happens to be called a soul. Which I guess is consciousness in this case, right? I mean, I'm not sure whether they're talking about literal, like a literal interpretation of some sort of a soul thing, or if they mean a soul as some sort of a metaphor for everything that makes you you. Because it can be used both ways. And I'm not sure which way she's talking about. Okay, we have four buttons. Well, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Getting the buttons pressed is not going to be the hard part. The hard part is going to be getting through. Because I could easily do this and that. Okay, let me go right here. Right, that's the easy part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the easy part. Alright, how the hell do I do this? Um. That does the last one. That does the first one. And that's the second. First, second, third, fourth. I don't know if that matters, but now I know. Third, fourth. Wait, that was the first, right? Hold on, everyone needs to die. That was first, right? Yeah, first, second, third, fourth. Huh. I don't know how to do this.
Well, I can switch to any one I want. <laughs> I don't see what good that does me. But I can. Hmm. Hmm. What do I do? Let's have a dance party. Okay, did that solve the puzzle? Nope. How the fuck? It's not doing anything. <sighs> Screw it, let's try this again. Nope, didn't work. Okay. God damn it. And now everything's fucked. How the hell? Oh, good job. Thank you. You fell off. Excellent. Look, these things close so fast that I'm pretty sure I don't need... I'm pretty sure I can't beat them with time, you know? I, I don't think I can just run through. I think I need to do this perfectly. But how? Okay, hold on. I can have five people in total. Four clones and me. I think I need three clones and me holding the buttons, and then I need to make a clone all the way back there and switch to it. So how am I going to do that? Alright, I need to be on either this button or that button. Otherwise, I won't have a line of sight to create anything over there. Unless, could I do it from here? Hmm. Maybe. Okay. But I can't actually get to any of the buttons. That's the problem. At least without swapping. So... <laughs> so where does that leave me? But if I swap, then I have a dead weight. I don't- I can't have any dead weight. I need to use every single person perfectly. But, wait, I can do this. 
Fuck, he fell off. Hold on, I think this might actually work. I think this is actually going to work. Fuck, how did I just do that? Uh, you do this, you do that, do that. Right? Yeah. I need to put this person... Here, that's... Man... Who knew such a small environmental detail made such a big difference? That's why this is extended here. It's specifically so you can put him there. So he has room to rock, walk to the left. I thought that was nothing. And now I just realized, that means everything. If this wasn't here, I don't even think he'd be able to solve this puzzle. Okay. Now... God damn it. It's doable. This is how you solve it. I know it is. I just need to get it just right. And that is not just right. That is just wrong. Ah, oh, come on. I can taste it. I can taste the victory. Okay. I'm gonna put you there. Okay. I've got it. I, I have it right now. Watch. Now I switch to this person. Jump. Create a clone. And done! Holy shit, that is fucking satisfying. Oh yes. <laughs> uh. You've got it. Okay. Do I have enough for everything? 66. No, I need 93 for that, but I should find more orbs down here, probably, so let's go to that. Goodbye, solar panels. May you find many lumens in your everlasting journey through the... stuff. Yeah. Um. Oh. I see. I feel a bit exposed out here. Uh, what's down here? I'm curious. What is that? It's very colorful. Well, I guess I'll just follow the umbilical cord. Come on, come on. Okay, let's slow down. Nice and easy. There we go. What is happening? Everything's distorted. In the same way that the text from the Watchers is.
Everything's distorted. Even my map. Memory terminal. Oh, it's... whoops. It is upside down. Or right side up, depending on how you look at it. Log 20, Site 7, internal message. It was kind of hard to read. John, we dig enough watchers out of orbiting asteroids, you ever get to wondering whether they're as smart as they're supposed to be? You know they're supposed to talk to each other? I never heard a peep. Arn, I think I says? Maybe they don't speak our language? Think about it. They're telepathic, right? If you could sense what I was thinking as I was thinking it, would you need to read this message? Or develop language at all? Seriously, if they were going to talk to us, I'd reckon it'd have to be something pretty damn important. John, I think you're in the wrong work placement. <laughs> Each word I concentrate Simplify. Make to match your mind. It is... slow. Okay, so they're obviously having trouble communicating with me. What the hell? Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Ouch. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't mean to do that. And they're dead. Hmm. Alright, how do I even approach this? There's no buttons. I can't turn any of the red lights off. I can't swap. At least not here. So, what the hell does that leave me? I have no idea. I'll be back when I figure something out. Ooh, I just got it. Wow. Instant replay. Look at the timing of these moves. At the very last second, he swaps consciousness with him in midair right there. And then, whilst upside down in the air, he creates a new clone. Right there. And then that clone goes to the ceiling, flips around, falls down, and he grabs that orb. Amazing. I'm almost certain that's not how you're supposed to do it. You should have been able to detach the last panel by now. I hope we were right to trust those survival instincts. I'm pretty sure that's not how you were supposed to do it, but I knew it was possible, <laughs> and I did it, and it's really satisfying. At least, I hope that wasn't how they intended. Because if I just completed that puzzle by a method that they had no idea even existed, that's really satisfying. 
Alright, what's up here? Well, we have quite a light show. That's for sure. Okay. Oh, that hurt. Oh. <sighs> okay. So, what does this button do? Really? Well, whoop de doo And what does that one do? Okay, so if I turn them both off, then I can get a beam up there. And that is a key question. How do I turn them both off? I mean, how do I use both of the buttons at the same time? Well... Well... Hmm... I'm not sure. I'll be right back when I discover something. Okay, holy crap, this puzzle is complicated. I think I figured it out. Hold on. I believe I need to put one person here. This might take a couple tries. I think I, I know what I need to do. I'm just not sure about the distances and stuff. You need to put one there. Then. Then I need to do that. Go back until this clone is destroyed. Okay. Then, uh, put one and put another clone here. Mm, let's say right here. I, I'm hoping this guy doesn't fall off. Okay, good. Then do that. Shit, I'm gonna have to do this again. Yep, see this is perfect. Everything here is perfect. The only problem is that this guy needs to be here so that I can swap to him. That is what I need to do, right? Swap to him and then he needs to be like right here so then he can access up here. Yeah. All right, I think that's what I need to do. I just need to get all the distances correct. All right, so let's do that again. This time without fucking it up. Okay, that's better. More breathing room. Now I'm gonna put them like I don't know, there? Then I put him here. Then, I keep going to the right until this guy gets on his thing. Yes, I think this is gonna be perfect. Okay. And I switch to you. I think I got it. <laughs> oh my god. That puzzle is so freaking complicated, wow. How did I even figure that out? Okay. Whew. That was a tough one. That was a really tough one. Alright, there's one place left to go in here. <clears throat> 
All right, what do we have? I'm sure another brain buster of a puzzle. <laughs> well, we have another rave. Beautiful. Okay, it's hidden beneath that. Looks like it opens up one of the things in the way. I'm guessing this button opens up the other way. Right, well this is already making my brain explode. Well, on this puzzle, I think I'm going to end this episode here before my brain completely turns to mush. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.